I'm Amy Bento. Welcome to the Absolute Beginners Kettlebell 3-in-1 Workout. There are three great segments on this DVD. We've got an instructional segment, a beginner's workout, and an intermediate workout when you feel you're ready to kick it up a notch. So, are you ready to learn about the basics of kettlebell training? Then let's get started. Welcome to your instructional segment. So let's learn six different exercises with the kettlebell. So I'm going to teach you about form, where your body weight should be. I'm going to teach you about what kettlebell training is all about. And then we're going to get to work. All right, so let's go through just a little bit about the kettlebell and the concept of what the training is about. So here's what a kettlebell is. We've got the weighted ball. The handle is on top. So you, when you hold it, you think, wow, the center of gravity is really pulling you down. But that's what kettlebell training is about. It's about momentum, power, and moving that bell with your body, okay? So the first exercise that we're gonna go through is called a double arm swing. So I'm gonna ask you to stand with your feet apart, your toes a little bit out to the sides, and it's kind of a squat here, okay? So I want you to think squat, and I want your weight in the heels, you grab the bell just like this, and we're gonna start in a down position. So when you start down, this is where you load. You load the weight into your heels, into your hamstrings, and into your glutes. So watch the action that I take to get this bell in the air going forward. I swing it back, and I come forward with a powerful hip motion, and snap the hips forward, and extend the bell forward, all right? So what happens here is you feel the bell dropping. Now that's the weight of that ball, so I want you to make sure that you really whew, snap your hips forward, squeeze your muscles so that you feel the force and that bell going up. And then squeeze and squeeze, all right? Now let's talk about this a little bit as you put it down, put it down safely and lift up. So when you lift and do that swing, the distance of the swing depends on you and the force you push forward. You can have it come to your chest, your shoulders, or just a little bit at eye level. All right, that's your first exercise. Let's move on to the next one. Single arm swing. So it's the same concept, but one arm. So it makes it a little tougher. So we grab the bell, we come down to the first position here. Remember, load the weight into your heels, into your hamstrings, and into your glutes. Grab the bell, swing it back through, keep your head up, and lift. <sighs> lift. Now you can tell. I'm already getting cardiovascular work doing this. Lift. Don't drop your chest, okay? You want to make sure that your head is up, you're focused up, your hips go back, your weight is in your heels, and your hips come forward. Blow it out. All right? And then drop. Nice and easy. Keeping your core tight when you release that bell, and keeping your quads tight, your butt tight, because they're going to look great after this kettlebell workout. All right, so that's the one arm swing. Whew, good cardio. Next move is a clean. Now, we're gonna incorporate upper body with lower body, all right? So we're gonna lift the bell. Again, here's the first stance. Hands are always off the knees. We lift it up and we clean the weight right to the side of our body. Whew, so what we do is we keep our wrists straight. We have the bell on the outside. And this is, your elbow is really taut to your body. So you want your wrist and your elbow in a straight line. Now watch, we're gonna kick it down. Shoulder comes out a little bit and elbow comes up. That's a safety tip right there. Again, we're gonna clean it up, <sighs> breathe, and then bring it down. And then clean it up, <sighs> nice and tight to the body, and bring it down. And bring it up. <sighs> now notice how I use my lower body a little bit to get up into this and then bring it down. Use your breath in kettlebell training, that's huge. You need to breathe to get these bells to move, okay? Bring it up, and then bring it down. Now what are we doing when we kick that elbow out a little bit? I like to do it because instead of just bringing the bell up and letting it fall, notice how the gravity pulls my shoulder down. When I can kick my elbow out a little bit, it helps to control that. So I can control the weight coming down. Now. Something else we need to talk about before we move on is the grip of the handle in your hands. And you're saying to me, how do you turn the bell to the outside? When you're lifting and hoisting the bell, 
you want to have sort of a looser grip on the handle. Now, when you reach the top of the motion, that's what we call a crush. Crush on the handle and squeeze and contract your muscles. So when you hear me say crush, crush. That's an exhale you want to do there because you're contracting and squeezing everything together. All right, so that's the clean. You got that? <laughs> All right, let's move on. The next one is called the press. This is exercise number four. It's the same thing as a clean. You're going to start in this position, which is called the rack position, and then you're going to press it up to the ceiling and then come back down nice and slow. Now notice I'm using my shoulder muscles, I'm using my core, and I'm coming back down. Okay, right to that rack position. So this is the clean. We clean to the rack position, and then we would press from there, pressing overhead, and then coming back down. So let's try it with the kettlebell once you see it. Okay, so I'm gonna clean to get to the rack position. Now remember, my wrist is not falling over. It is nice and straight. Okay, we wanna make sure you don't do that because that's really, you know, can cause injury and you don't wanna do that. Kettlebell training, you need to be safe. So think about these things. We're gonna clean it up. Here we go. Up, press, and then come back down slow. So what I want you to think about is keeping your eye on the bell as it goes up. Keeping your eye on the bell, and then coming back down. Good, and then pressing it up. And you can release your fingers a little bit so you get some circulation there. No white knuckles. Press up, looking at it. So you have a natural flow of your back and your neck. And lift up. Everything's in alignment and come back down. Remember how we get out of this, we kick it a little bit and control the weight coming down and then set it down. Okay, Those are that's the fourth one. So let's go on to number five. It's called the jerk, all right? I know it's a funny name, but you'll understand when, why it's called that when you see it. So let's pick up the bell, pick it up, clean it. <sighs> okay. Instead of pressing, and you know how we crescendoed up to the top nice and slow? This time, we're going to throw it up in the air, and we're going to contract and crush at the top of the motion. So here we go. We're going to throw it up and crush, and then bring it down to clean, OK? And then use your lower body to power that up to the ceiling. Again, and bring it down. So that's the jerk, all right? And again, up, and then bring it down. So I want to do a side view of this so that you see the alignment of my shoulder and my hand, all right, when we go up. Ready? <sighs> Notice that I'm not back here too far. I'm hovering right over my shoulder, and then come down. Watch again. Lift. <sighs> and notice how I'm pushing my hips forward as well to support the weight under my shoulder girdle, and bring it down. <sighs> and come back to the center, and we kick it out for safety, and bring it down. All right, that's number five. You have one more to go. Front squat. Are you ready to squat? All right. So front squat we do with the rack position or we can do with a front position or front hold. Okay? So we're going to do it with the rack position. So let's lift it up and let's clean the bell to the shoulder. <sighs> nice and easy. Remember my grip was soft and then tight. Crush. <laughs> All right? So here we go. We're going to take this and we're going to squat with it. So you got to keep it here and squat backwards. So I want your hips to face the back wall or your tailbone to face the back wall, come down and squat, and then lift. Keeping your chest elevated and your chin up. So come down and then come up. Come down and come up. Okay? Now here's another little tip. If you're having trouble, you're feeling a little off balance, because that's what kettlebell training is about, is throwing you off balance, put your hand out to the side. And that's going to throw your chest up and forward a little bit. Instead of having your arm down, your shoulders tend to come forward. We don't want that. We want our chest to stay broad and forward. So you want to keep it up. Keep the kettlebell resting on your, on your chest and come down and squat. And lift. And pushing and powering through your hips. Down and up. Okay, remember, you're exploding into moves here. Down. Up and again, down and up. Here's a side view. Now remember, think power lifter. You're a power lifter, you're an athlete, you're the ultimate fighter. This is how you get powerful. You throw yourself into a move 
and you explode into it. So you get cardiovascular, <sighs> flexibility training, <sighs> and resistance training all at the same time. Take it out and set it down. So there you have it. You have six basic moves for kettlebell training. So are you ready to take it on? I'm sure you are. Watch this again if you need to. Come back to me as many times as you have to. Form and technique are really important when training with these bells. So let's get started. Let's get warmed up for the beginner workout. All right, so we're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart and take some nice deep breaths in. Here we go, breathe up and then come down. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And in through your nose and out through your mouth. Stretch real tall here, last one. Lift and then down. Now bring your feet together, come front to back with your arms. Reach for me and then stretch your chest up and breathe. So we wanna make sure that your lower back, your hamstrings, your glutes, and your shoulders are stretched for this workout. Okay, keep reaching. Come on. Good, give me eight more. Eight and seven. Really think about squatting your butt backwards. Come on, four. Reach for me, three, two, last one here. One, now I'm gonna ask you to reach under your hamstrings and up. And up. Now I want you to think about exploding your hips forward. Press. Remember that crush, that tightening of the muscles I told you about? Do it here. Good. Come on. Down and lift. Shoot those tailbones back. Down. Four more to go. Four. And three. Good job. Two. Feeling your shoulders warm yet? One. Now step apart. Feet apart, nice and deep. Just bend and lift right here. Down, come all the way up. Down and all the way up through the spine here. Keep your hands off your knees, contract your abs. Good. Ah, give me one more. Real serious contraction. Excellent, now bring your feet together. Let's interlace our fingers and stretch up to the ceiling with your back. Make a nice cave here. Hold. Good, and roll up slow. And roll your shoulders back. Now we're gonna squat. Squat side to side. Nice and deep for me. Come on. Down. Yeah. Keep your hands in front of you. Why? Because I want your chest elevated. This will remind you. Let's go. Just like you're doing that swing, shoot your tailbone backwards and down. Driving some blood into those large muscles of yours. Yes. Two more. Come on. Last one. And bring it in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now you're ready. Let's start with our first move, the first one you learn in the instructional segment, double-handed and double-arm swing. Pick it up, Presume, assume the position, toes out. Are you ready? Ballistically throw it forward. That's it. Come on, work that bell. And remember, you're crushing those muscles forward. You're squeezing, snapping those hips. Push it forward to me. Come on. First exercise. Get you going. I'm gonna take you all the way through to the end. And push. Down. Push, keep your chest up. Never look down. Always keep your chin up. Okay, last one. And relax it down. Let the bell just kind of fall down. Take a deep breath. Release and unload the legs. We're gonna go one hand swing. Start with your right. Are you ready? Here we go. Pick it up. We're gonna swing through the legs, ready? <sighs> Lift, oh yeah, music's kicking now, come on. Yes, bring it. Let that bell fall, you're feeling that gravity there. <sighs> Down, lift, come on, push it to me. You got it. <sighs> feeling your legs yet? Oh yeah, cardio benefits, stretching benefits, resistance benefits, it's all good. Two, two. And one, bring it down easy. And then switch arms, deep breath. Four, three, two, let's go. Swing, lift. I'm gonna work those hips forward for me. Remember what I said about the bell. You can have it between your shoulder and your head height, but no higher than your head on this swing. Let's go, come on. Get that form, get that technique. 
Swing. Down. Swing. Four. Three. Push. Two. Oh, you're gonna feel your buns now. Bring it down. Excellent. Shake your legs out. Let's move on. What's next? The clean. Right hand, take a deep breath. You should feel your heart rate come up by now. Inhale, exhale. Oxygen gives you power, gives you energy. Let's pick it up. You ready? Now clean. Clean and kick it down. Clean and down. Now, how do you get this bell from hitting your forearm hard? What you do is keep your wrist straight, punch your palm to the ceiling, all right? So punch as you drive it in, your elbow into your side, punch. And down, last one right here. And down, let's switch arms. Four, three, prepare, straight wrist, go. Lift, and down. Hoist that weight up, come on, down. Use a little body, hoist it up, and down. Really tuck it tight to the body, and down. Push, and down, you feeling that? Lift, and down. Remember the kick out I showed you, right here. And down, one more, kick it up. And down, switch arms. Okay, here we go. We're going into the press. You need to take breaths. Inhale and exhale. You're gonna exhale when you press up. We're gonna clean, start from the rack position. Are you ready? We're just gonna press up to the ceiling. Here we go. And down. And down. I want you to go slow. And down. Remember, look at it. Contract it. And down. Go with me. And down. Feel that press. And down. Last one. And down. Good. And switch arms. You ready? Clean it up. And press. Nice and slow. Down. Down. Take your time. Use a little body here. Good press. And down. And press. And down. You really want to think about inhaling and exhaling here. One more. And down. Good. Now let's put it down. Switch arms. We're going to do the jerk. Remember, it's not the crescendo, it's the punch. Are you ready? Rack position. And we're going to throw it up in the air. Push your palm to me and crush your body. You ready? Here we go. Eight times. Eight. Down. Seven. Down. Come on. Six. Push. Down. You want to catch the kettlebell when you come down. Down. Catch it in that clean position. Keep your wrist strong. And down. Keep it tight to the body. Down. And again. Keeping it safe by coming down and absorbing the weight. Last one. And down. Switch arms. Here we go. You ready? Rack position. There we go. Use your legs, power through it. Here we go. And down. And lift. Nice job. Down. Remember you're catching that kettlebell at the bottom. Down. And again. Punch. Punch your wrist to the ceiling. Straight up. Punch, push your hips forward, down. Come on. And down, catch that bell. Two more, lift. And down, I know you're sweating now, come on. Lift, and down. Great work. Are you ready for squatting? All right, here we go. We're gonna clean it up, rack position. Arm out to the side, toes out. We're gonna squat eight. Make sure your hips are going back. Here we go, eight. And up, push your hips forward. Seven, and up. Try to drop your butt real low. Down, we're playing limbo. Yes, and push your hips forward. Down, remember what I said about the arm? Keep it up so that your chest stays up. You don't concave forward. You got this. You're doing an awesome job. Keep it up, last one. Deep breath, 
and switch. Are you with me? Clean it up. Here we go. Arm out to the side, deep breath, and take it down. Down, and lift. Good song. Down, and lift. Elbow tight to the body. Down. Now it's gonna play out a little bit, your elbow from the body when you come down. That's okay. Just keep your chest up. Down, and lift. Push those hips forward. Down, and lift. Come on, two, and lift. Are you getting down? I see you. Yes, last one. Down, and kick it down. All the way down. Take a step touch for me, and breathe. Did a great job on your first circuit. We're gonna run through that again, though. Are you sweaty a little bit? See, that's the benefits of kettlebells. Cardio. You feeling that strength? It's all there. Keep breathing. Shake out your shoulders. Just a little bit of rest and recovery is always best. Because we want to have the power for the next set. Yes. Are you ready? Here we go. Double handed, double arm swing. Toes out. Lock and loaded position. Start it up. Here we go. 16. 15. Press. 14. Come on. Squeeze those glutes to me. Let the bell fall and squeeze your abs so that you're catching it with your body. Use your body to hoist it up. Come on, down. Lift. Yes. Doesn't this feel great? Oh yeah. Come on. And the kettlebell has such a small footprint. It's not a big machine. You can do it anywhere. Bring it down. All right. One hand. It's the right one. You ready? Next one, catch your breath. Start swinging, here we go. Head up, swing, down, swing. Come on, repetition is the mother of learning. Let's work it. Down, lift, push those hips forward. Lift, down, lift, squat. Oh yeah, come on. I know you're feeling it now. Three, two, I'm feeling it, one. Down easy, just let the bell kind of lose its momentum. Switch arms, catch your breath, you ready? Here we go, swing, down, lift, yes. Now you want this hand to just be relaxed, let the bell do the work, and then you do the work to kick it up. Down, lift, shoot those glutes back, oh boy. I'm feeling it now, lift. Four, squeeze, three, squeeze, two, one more. And then bring it down, we like the momentum. Take it down, shake it out. Oh, awesome, right? Let's take it to the cleans. Right hand, are you with me? Here we go. From here, let's go, clean it up. Clean, kick it down, one, come on. Clean, and down, awesome job. And down. Remember what I said about the kettlebell hitting your forearm? Yes, you may feel a little sore, but like anything else, it takes time to get used to. Come on. Two, kick it. Give me one more time. And down. Switch arms. Make sure that you're squeezing those hips forward. Can't stress that enough. Okay, you need to feel the effects of ballistic snapping and training. Are you ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Lift. And down. We gotta go to the music. Yeah. Keep it fun. Keep it sweaty. And down. Come on. Crush. And down. Punch that wrist. And down. Make sure that it's not slouchy. You can always look at it. And look at it. Down. And lift. Last one. Ah. And down. Let's switch arms. We're gonna do that press. Are you ready? Start from the rack position. Pressing up, nice and slow. Here we go. Push it. Down. Go. Down. Go. Make sure you're looking at it. Press it up hard. Use your shoulders. Use the side wall of your core, your obliques. Down. Come on, squeeze. Squeeze and press. And Push those hips forward. 
press. You always want to make sure you support it. Lift and down and switch. Awesome. Rack position. You ready? Take a deep breath. You're with me. Go. Press and down. Squeeze. Press. Down. I know it's burning. Come on, you can do it. I'm with you. We all have to start somewhere. And one side may not be as good as the other, but we are gonna equal it out and balance you out. Let's go, push it up. Good, down, stay encouraged. Come on, lift. And down, last one. You knew it, you can do it, you can do it. And down, good, and then kick it down. Take a deep breath. All right, you ready to jerk? I know I am. You ready? Rack position, elbow tight to the body. We're gonna push it and punch it up. Remember, explosive, push forward. Five, six, seven, eight, push. And down, again, push. And down, remember, you're absorbing that kettlebell on the bottom. Absorb, punch, absorb. I even want you to punch those hips, punch. And down, you can always catch with the other hand. That's perfectly acceptable. Yes, two more. And down. Oh yeah, last one. Push and down. Kick it out, let's switch arms. Ooh, yeah. Rack position. Ready, five, six, seven, go. Push and down. Come on, push and down. Who's sweaty? Let's work. Yeah, down. Come on, you can do it. Push and down. Oh, push. Yes, I'm feeling it too. Down, absorb. And down. Come on, push. Lift. And down. Give me one more. Last one. Who? And down. Ah. Are you ready for squats? Yes, you are. Not giving up on me yet. Okay. Right arm, rack position. Arm out. Toes out. Four. Three, elbow in, wrist strong, drop it. Get down. Just like the music says, get down. Good. And lift. Push your hips forward. Come on. Lift. Push. Down. Lift. Drop that butt down as low as you can. Hey, if you only go halfway, I'm proud of you. Down. Lift. Keep your abs strong. Come on. Down. Lift. Get down. Last one. And lift. Good. Bring it up. And then switch. Relax those feet. Rack position. Oh yeah. Arm out, chest is up. Remember, shoulders back, retracted. Toes slightly turned out. Drop it down. Here we go. Eight. And lift. Now at the top, remember, I want that crush. Push. Push, down, awesome, lift, down, and lift, two more, come on, lift, want that last push at the top, and lift, excellent, put it down, all the way down, bend, and step touch, relax, Ooh. take a deep breath, you did an awesome job. How do you feel? Sweaty, worked, fantastic. Now let's cool you off a little bit, okay? So just put your feet apart and just bring your arms up and down and again. Ah, great way to start and bring it down. Give me another one. Good, now let's just take a turn here for your hip flexor. Turn and then push your hip forward, just like the crush, put your hands here and they should be shoulder height. Deep breath, inhale. Feel your hip flexor stretch, that's the muscle right here. We work those a lot. Good, now switch sides, arms up. Stretch and push. Make sure your knee is soft in the back. Arms are low. Remember, they're not up here. You want them in line with your shoulders. Good, bring it up. Drop it down. Now I want you to grab the inner thighs and round your back here. You can look at the floor. I want you to feel the stretch in your upper and lower back here. Four, three, your heart rate should be coming back to normal. 
and one. Now pull your feet together, do the same stretch. Coming, interlacing your fingers and rounding your back. Inhale and exhale. And then release, head up to me. And then take your right leg, balancing on your left leg, nice and easy. Let's just cross right here. If you cannot balance, just take your leg out to the side and sit back. This is a little bit of a modification if you have trouble. Because that ball throws you off, doesn't it? All right. Let's hold it here. That big iron ball is so fantastic for you. Let's hold it here. Good. Now switch. So you feel the stretch in your hips and your, your glutes. And they worked hard. Okay, remember, if you can't balance, you certainly can hold something. Or take your leg out to the side as before. Great work, hang on to it. And then bring it down, take a deep inhale. And let it go. You are so strong and I am way proud of you. Great job and I'll see you next workout. Are you ready to kick it up a notch? We're gonna start you out with your intermediate workout. Let's warm you up. Let's go, tough side to side. Now I want you to start turning your shoulders with the music. Come on, side to side. Remember, we have to limber that body up before we move into swinging that bell. All right, now reach up here, up, nice and tall. Come on, stretch the side walls of your torso. Now reach for me right here, reach. Aw, yeah, come on. Okay, now squat down and up for me. Squat and lift. Press your hips forward just like a swing. Squeeze. Good, come on. Down. Lift. Squeeze those abs nice and tight. Down. Lift. Good. One more. And take a deep inhale. And roll down for me through the spine and roll up nice and slow. Do it again. Yeah. Inhale. And roll. And lift. Inhale. And down. Roll and lift. You have one more. Come on. Up and down. Roll slow. All right, bring your feet together. Let's just take a torso twist. Twist. Good. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Pull your feet apart, hands on the hips. We're gonna do a good morning. So make those legs nice and taut. We're gonna bend and hinge from the waist, all right? So come forward, down, and lift. Now what you're gonna feel are your hamstring stretching. And we're just pre preparing for the work ahead. Down, and lift. Keep your chin up, down, and lift. Good, down, and lift. Nice and strong through your lower back and your lower back extensor muscles. Good, two, and lift, come on. Ready for the work ahead, and lift. Feet together, inhale, and come down. One more time, inhale, and come down. Are you ready? All right, what we're gonna do is combine moves. So you're gonna do a swing and to a clean. Are you ready? Right arm, okay. So feet shoulder width apart, toes out. We're gonna start with a swing. One swing and then a clean. Are you ready? Here we go. Swing, then clean. Whew. Swing and clean. Here we go. Swing, Whew. clean, pull it up. Swing and clean. Nice and strong, swing Whew. and clean and put it down. Great work. Now let's switch the side, take a deep breath. Now remember, we need to be ballistic, so throw your hips forward, hoist that weight. Here we go, taking your time, ready? Swing, and clean, down. Move that weight, down. Now we're moving a little faster, so you can't kick your elbow out to the side too much. Good, give me one more, down, and that's up, and put it down. Nice work. Now let's get some cardio going, so I want you to just rope it out. Come on. This is what we do. Little body weight exercises and cardio incorporated with kettlebells. Really kicks it up a notch. Come on, swing that rope. Okay. Yes. 
Okay, let's take a little fancy rope here. Side to side. Shuffle those feet, nice and easy. Now, if you don't want to bounce, you just keep it center, moving your legs up and down, right? But I want you to try to kick your body into a higher gear here. Come on. Work it. Come on. Four, three, two, one, and tap. Take a deep breath, all right? Recovery, we want to make sure we do it. Catch your breath. Stay with me. Put your arms here. Stay engaged and focus. We have a next combination. They progress as we go on. They get a little harder, but you are tougher than that. All right? So we're going to work on a swing, a clean, and a press. Are you ready? You thinking about it? OK, right arm. Assume the position. Remember, your chest and chin are up. You ready to swing? Here we go. Swing, clean, press, and down. Ready? Swing. Clean. Press. Down. Go with me. Swing. Clean. Press. And down. Nice and strong. Swing. Clean. Press. And bring it down. Last one. Swing. Clean. Remember your wrist. Push. Look at it. And bring it down. Easy down. Shake it out. Other side. Shake the legs out. We want the blood to flow. Are you ready? Start with the swing. Swing. Clean. Press. Look at it. Come back down. Swing. Come on, react. Clean. Push it up. Use your breath. Come back down. Here we go. Swing. Head up. Look at me. Bring it up. Strong. Press down. And last two. Swing. Come on, use those hips. Keep your weight on your heels. Last one. Swing. Yes. Clean. Press. Crush. Down. And then release. And put it down. All right. Are you ready? We're going to do some side squats. Keep that cardio going. Squat to the side. Hands here. Come on. Stay with me. Okay. We're doing a little time to drill here. Stay low. Drive that heart rate up. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Breathe. Squat. Remember, you're absorbing the floor. Yes. Come on. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Deep breath. Only two seconds. Last one. And march. Ooh. Arms up. Stick them up. All right. Keep it with me. We're moving into our third combo. Remember, we want to keep the heart rate elevated as we move through this circuit. Stay with me. Arms down. Heart rate is recovering. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do a jerk into a clean and then a front squat. So a jerk, remember you push it straight up, clean, front squat. Think about it as we recover a little bit more. Are you ready? Take the air in. Remember it energizes you. Here we go. Picking it up the kettlebell. Remember, we're going to jerk. So I want you to really come from the rack position and hoist that weight up. Go. Jerk and clean. Hand out. Front squat and up. Jerk. Jerk and clean. You can catch it with the other arm. Front squat and up. Let's go. Jerk. Clean. Front squat and up. And again, breathe. You're with me. Down and front and up. Push those hips forward. Come on. Lift. Last one. Down. Front squat and up. And put it down. Ooh. Feeling this workout? Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you that you are an intermediate. Taking on that challenge. Let's think about the other side now. Jerk, clean, front squat. Keep your chest back. Four, three, rack position, two, one. Here we go. Jerk, clean, catch it. 
front squat and up. Really poise that hip forward. Clean, front squat and up. Make sure you're loading the legs. Two and clean. Front squat, take a deep breath. Up, come on, you can do it. Jerk, make sure you're punching that wrist to the ceiling. Front squat and up. Oh yeah, lift, down. Front squat, last one, and up, and put it down. All right, your last cardio. Are you with me? Little high knee action. Come on, just run for me. Now, you can always keep this low, jog, but I expect you to kick it up a notch. Come on, baby, up. Bring it. You got it. It doesn't last long. You can do it. Stay with me. Pump those arms. Just think of all the great benefits you're getting out of this workout. Come on, push it. Yeah. Oh, come on. You can do it. Four, three, two. Last one, tap it out. Way to go. Arms up. Let's recover. All right, let's move into your next combo. We're doing double arm swing and then single arm swing, switching in midair. So you're gonna get a grip on that kettlebell. All right, you ready? We're gonna assume that swing position. Make sure your knees don't jetty forward. Grabbing the bell with both hands, chest up. Let's go, double arm swing. One, two, now switch to single. One, two, midair, switch. Oh yeah, come on. Just grab it with the other hand. Now grab and double swing. And lift, single arm swing. Come on, let that bell go up. Switch. One and two. Double arm. Here we go. And again. Yeah. Single arm. So you let go and grab on the descend. Good. Double arm. Come on. Lift. Lift. Single arm. Push. Push. Switch. Push. Really grab onto that bell. Come on, double. Push. Work it. Push, single. Come on, breathe. Yes, come on, switch, lift. Lift and put it down. Woo, nice work. Here's some cardio. We're gonna touch the ground and lift up. Power your legs. Touch, lift, touch, lift. Now, if you don't wanna jump, all you have to do is down and reach. Get up on your toes, though. Promise me you'll do that. You'll try. And down. And up, come on. All you have to do is push yourself a little bit further each time. You get better, you get stronger. Yes, come on, only nine seconds to go. You can do it, getting sweatier. Oh yeah, starting to drip. Last one, good. And tap it out side to side. Okay, recover. And let's talk about the next circuit. So you're gonna clean, press, Clean, double-handed front squat. Now you're gonna hold on to that weight in a front-loaded position. Whew, right at the chin. Are you ready? You're recovering. Boy, I need it too. Working hard with me. Okay, let's pick it up. Right hand, and we're gonna clean. Are you ready? Clean, press. Clean, now front, down squat, and lift. Clean. Clean, press, bring it to center, front, and lift, clean. So catch the clean, press, down, front, and up. You're clean, rack position, press, clean, take a squat down. Clean, you're already there, press, Clean, and then squat. Good, last one. Clean, look up at it, press, use your shoulders. Come back down, squat, lift. Good, and switch sides, are you with me? All right, let's clean it up, and then press. Here we go, press, clean. Bring it to the center, squat, and lift. Right to the clean, side rack there, press, down, Squat, lift, 
Really jump forward. Here we go. Press. Press. Clean. Just bring it around to the center when you squat. And up. Shoulder rack position. Lift. Down. Make sure when you squat, you send that butt real low. Here we go. Press. Clean. Squat. This is it. And down. Here we go. Put it down. Cardio. Are you with me? Whew. Now, we're going to do a double rope side to side. Start right. So, double. Come on. Right to the beat. Now, I want you to move those arms. All right? Work them. I don't want to just see this. We can do that all day. You've got to work that rope. Come on. You're with me. Whew. Lift those heels off the ground. Come on. Stay energized. Deep breath. Yes. Ten seconds to go. Come on. Keep your core engaged. Yes. Three, two, one. And tap. Great work. Are you ready for the last one? Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do here is swing. Clean, jerk, and then reverse press, which means coming down slow, not pushing up slow. All right. Are you ready? Aaron, recover. Four, and three. Ready to swing, single arm, right arm, load the legs. Here we go. Swing, up, clean, jerk, and then bring it down. Slow, rack it, you ready? Swing, swing, clean, jerk. Bring it down slow, and hold. You ready? Swing, take it slow. Down, lift, clean, <sighs> jerk. Bring it down slow. Rack it up. You ready? Go. Down, lift, down, clean. Ready? Jerk. Bring it down slow. Right in the rack position. Go. Last one. Down. <sighs> Good. Clean. Jerk. Yes. And then bring it down. Oh, do you feel those shoulders? And drop it down. Easy. You ready for the other side? Oh, yeah. Feeling powerful? Yes. You're a champion, ultimate fighter. Let's do it. Come on, this is where the power begins. Right here. Are you ready to swing? Hips go back. Here we go. Swing. Up. Clean. <sighs> Jerk. <sighs> bring it down slow. Look at it. And then bring it in. Go. Swing. <sighs> Clean. <sighs> Jerk. Bring it down slow. And in, rack position, go. Down, lift, clean, up, jerk, down. Nice and easy, and go. Yes, powerful. Swing that bell, jerk it up. Bring it down. Two, three, four, go, last one. Yeah, come on. Push, jerk, bring it down slow. Control, rack position. Put it down nice and easy. Are you ready for your last one? All right. We're going to take those legs wide. Now just jog in place real fast. Come on. Work those feet. Come on, work. Pump those arms. Pump those arms. You're running through tires. You're running away from something. Come on. Let's go. Faster, faster, faster. Work it, work it. You got it. Oh, yeah. Come on. That music, work it. Come on, only eight seconds. Come on. Three, two, one, step and tap. Nice job. Way to go. Deep breath, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Awesome work. All right, recover, feet apart, take it down and up. Nice and easy. Feet wide, toes wide. Don't you feel accomplished? You did a lot in that intermediate workout. Keep your core tight. Nice. Give me one more. Take an inhale up right here. And down. Inhale up. And down. Two more right here. And down. Remember, you're breathing through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Bring your feet together. Excellent job. Take your right foot forward. Let's hinge at the waist and stretch those hamstrings and hold. Take a deep breath in. And down. And in. And 
down and switch. Oh yeah. You can wipe the sweat off when we're done. Give me an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And great stuff. Let's lunge to the right. Just hips back a little bit. You're gonna feel the inner thigh stretch. Keep your hands off your knees and your chest elevated. And then switch. Nice and easy. Hold. Deep breath. Excellent. Bring your feet together. Let's do that interlacing finger stretch right here under the hamstrings and round the back. Your back and your hamstrings and your buttocks worked hard today. Excellent. Separation. That inner thigh stretch one more time. This is great after kettlebell training. Getting that upper and lower back stretched. Good, now just roll down through the spine and come up for me. Take an inhale and let it go. Awesome work, I'll see you next time. You did a great job, let's stretch. We really need to stretch those hamstrings and your glutes because they worked hard today. So turn to the side for me. We're just gonna take a deep inhale and fall over your legs. Stretch forward as far as you can and as far as your body will allow you. Okay, you wanna drop your elbows. Keep your back from rounding, so just try to stay straight. And even if you come here, that's perfectly fine. Each time you get better. Just stay with me. Inhale and exhale. Come forward a little bit more. Good. And then rise up. Now, let's take the right leg across the left leg, put the hands behind us, and sit up into this stretch. And really think about your right knee pushing down, just slightly out to the side, so you feel your gluteus stretch. That butt worked hard today. Inhale. Exhale. Really fill your chest and let go. Good. And bring it to the other side. Sit up. Nice and tall. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're pushing that left knee down. Good, and then bring it up. Roll back for me. Take a nice elongation of your whole body here. Inhale, exhale. Let your belly rise and fall. Inhale, exhale. Draw your knees into your chest. And then roll up, roll back. Just a nice massaging of the spine. And one more. And bring it up. Sit tall, bring it to the front for me. Just cross your legs, inhale, exhale. <sighs> Relax your shoulders down, inhale, exhale, <sighs> and one more and down. You did a fantastic job today. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Be well.